children, I hope you all are waiting for the English lesson today. The lesson is based on writing. Writing what? Writes descriptions of people, animals, places and things. I will read you the objective of the lesson. Help students to write descriptions of animals and places using the clues given. Today you have to write descriptions of animals and places only. Right. Now look at the first activity. Yes, what can you see on the screen? Yes, an elephant. Yes, now look at the picture first. What are the notes given or the clues given? Small eyes, large ears, large body, long trunk. Yes, you can see some clues in the box as well. Yes, shall we read it together? Very large, grey, live in Sri Lanka. India, Africa. So, what are we going to do now? So, we are going to write a description of elephants. So, how do you write it? You can use the clues given. Right. So, can we use these clues only? No children. You have to use these clues in a sentence. Right. So, I have prepared a description for you. Shall we have a look at that? Right. Let us read the paragraph. Elephants are grey and they are large animals. They have a large body, large ears and long trunk. Their eyes are very small. They live in Sri Lanka, India and Africa. They eat leaves. Yes, children. So, we have written that description using the clues given. Right. Shall we read another description? What can you see on the screen? A penguin. Let us read the clues given. Yes, very small wings, short legs, large feet. Yes, what can you see in the box? Usually black and white. Cannot fly. Can swim very well. Live by the sea. Eat fish. So, what are we going to do now? Now, we are going to write a description of penguin. How? We can use the clues given. But in this activity, you have to fill the gaps. You do not have to write the full description. Yes, children, now you have to complete the paragraph. So, how do you complete that paragraph? Yes, children, you can use the clues given. Look at the screen. Then quickly complete the paragraph. I hope you all have completed the task. Okay, let us check. Yes, shall we read it together? Penguins are usually black and white. They have short legs and large feet. Their wings are very small. They cannot fly, but they can swim very well. They live by the sea and eat fish. Yes, children. So, how do you complete that description? You have to use the clues given. Then it is easy for you to write the paragraph or the description of penguin. Right. Shall we move to another activity? Yes. What can you see there? Oh, three animals. Yes, 
rabbit, hippos, giraffes. Yes? Shall we read the notes given? Yes? Giraffes, very small head, very long neck, long thin legs. Yes, look at the box. Very tall, brown and white, eat leaves, can run fast. Let's have a look at the other pictures. Right. Look at the rabbits. Yes, you can see the picture of a rabbit. Very long ears. Large eyes. Small white tail. What is given in the box? Quite small. Brown. Can run very fast. Eat grass. Yes. Now let's have a look at hippos. Yes. Large body. Small ears. Very large mouth. Small eyes. Yes. In the box. What is given in the box? Large animals. Grey. Live in rivers. Dangerous. Yes, now what you have to do children? There are three animals given in the picture. But you have to select one. Choose one and write a description. So how are you going to write the description? You have to use the clues given. It's easy for you children. So you have to use the clues. Yes, there are three animals. Rabbits, hippos and giraffes. Yes, shall we select giraffe? Okay. Yes. Shall we read the clues given again? Very small head. Very long neck. Long thin legs. Yes. Very tall. Brown and white. Eat leaves, can run fast. Yes, children, now you have to write the description. How do you write the description now? Can you write it quickly? I hope that you all have your writing books with you, children. Start writing. It's easy for you. What you have to do? Look at the screen again. Read the clues given, then Use the clues and write a description. I think everybody can write it now. Okay, start writing. Yes, children, I think you have written something. Yes, giraffes. Shall we read it together? Giraffes. Giraffes are usually brown and white. The brown and white, that is the clue given in the box. Giraffes are usually brown and white. They are very tall. They have long neck and long thin legs. That is also given in the box. Their head is very small. They eat leaves. They can run fast. I think you also have written a paragraph like this. It's easy because the clues are given. You have to use the clues given children. Then it's not a difficult task for you. All the time you have to use the clues given. Then it will be an easy task for you. Right. Shall we move to another activity? Oh, what can you see there on the screen? Write a paragraph about your country. 
use the questions to help you. Yes, children, in this activity, the questions are given. The early activity, when you write descriptions about animals, the clues or the notes are given. But in the second activity, the clue is a question. Right? So, what is it about? About my country. We are going to write a description about my country. So, how are we going to write a description? First, you have to read the questions. They are very simple questions. Then, you have to answer these questions one by one. Shall we read the questions together? What is the name of your country? Is it in Asia, South America or Australia? What about the climate? What languages do people speak? Do you like to stay in your country? Is it a big country or small country? What is the capital city? Right, in this activity, what are we going to do? So, the first thing we have to do is to read these questions. Then you have to write the answers. Then later we can use these answers and write a description. Right, now take the questions one by one. Yes, read the first question. What is the name of your country? Everybody knows. But the thing is, you can write the answer in different ways. Shall we read them? My country is Sri Lanka. So, some of you have written, my country is Sri Lanka. Or you can write the answer, Sri Lanka is my country. The name of my country is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the name of my country. Yes. Only one question, what is the name of your country? But there are many ways of writing the answer. Right? So, there are many ways of writing the answer. My country is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is my country. The name of my country is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the name of my country. You have to just write the answer. Right? Shall we move to the next question? Right. Is it in Asia, Europe or South America? What is the answer? It is in Asia. My country is in Asia. Sri Lanka is in Asia. Or you can write Sri Lanka is an Asian country. Even here also, you can have different ways of answering the question. One question, but there are many ways of answering the question. Right. We will move to the other question. Is it a big country or a small country? Yes, what is the answer? It is a small country. Everybody knows that my country is an island. So, you can write that as well. It is an island. My country is small. There is another way of writing the answer. My country is small. Sri Lanka is a small country. You can write the answer using any of the ways. It is a small country. It is an island. My country is small. Sri Lanka is a small country. Let us move to the other question. What is the capital city? How are you going to write the answer? The capital city is Sri Chayavardhanapura Kote. Yes, Sri Chayavardhanapura Kote is the capital city. Sri Chayavardhanapura Kote is the capital city of my country. Sri Chayavardhanapura Kote is the capital city of Sri Lanka. Yes, look at the screen. There are four ways of writing the answer. What is the capital city? We have written the answer in different ways. Right. Shall we move to the other question? 
what about the climate? It has a tropical climate. Sri Lanka has a tropical climate. Or you can write, my country has a tropical climate. Yes. The next question, what languages do people speak? Yes, children. Now read the answer. The majority of Sri Lankans speak Sinhala. Tamils and Muslims speak Tamil language. Right? Yes. What is the next question? Do you like to stay in your country? I like to stay in my country. I love my country very much. Right. Now, you answered all the questions given. Then what are you going to do? Then we can join these sentences into a paragraph. So this is how we are going to write the description. You answered the question. So then you have to put them all together and form a paragraph. That is also an easy way of writing a paragraph. Right. Let's have a look at the paragraph now. Yes. Yes, children. This is the paragraph about my country. So how did you write that paragraph? First we answer the questions. Then we put all the answers together and form a paragraph. Let's read it together. My country. My country is Sri Lanka. It is an Asian country. It is small. It is an island. Sri Jayavardhanapura Kote is the capital city of my country. It has a tropical climate. The majority of Sri Lankans speak Sinhala. Tamils and Muslims speak Tamil language. I like to stay in Sri Lanka. I love my country very much. Yes, children, you have written a description about my country. So how did you write it? You answer the questions first. Then you put all the answers together to form a paragraph. Right. In the first activity, you have written descriptions about animal. So how did you write it? You use the clues or the notes given. This is also another way of writing a paragraph. Yes, I have taken a question from 2019 paper. Look at that. That is paper 1, test 8. Write a paragraph on one of the following topics. Use about 50 to 60 words. So what are the topics? The place where I live. How I spend my free time. Yes, children. So it's, is it important to write paragraphs? Yes, children, it's important. Even look at the question. The place where I live. So you have to write a description about a place. So it's better to practice writing paragraph. Then it's easy for you to answer the questions given in the paper. Yes, children. Today we discussed how to write paragraphs. Is it important to learn about writing paragraphs? Yes, it's very important. Yes, I think today we have come to the end of our lesson. Goodbye, children.